Hi everyone, and welcome to Shavlik Protect. My name is Joe Andert, and I'm a technical communicator with Shavlik. In this video, I will be demonstrating how easy it is to scan and patch the machines in your organization. So, let's get started. A patch scan can be initiated from several different locations. One of the most convenient locations is the home page. You simply select the machine group you want to scan, choose when you want the scan performed, and then click Scan Now. For the moment, we'll hold off on clicking Scan Now in order to show another method for initiating a patch scan. For example, you may want to remind yourself which machines are contained in a group before performing a scan. To do this, simply select the machine group. You can see which machines are in the group by looking in the bottom pane. For this tutorial, we have a simple group containing three machines. When you are ready to initiate the patch scan, click Run Operation. After choosing when and how you want to perform the scan, click Scan Now. You can monitor the progress of the patch scan using the Operations Monitor. When the patch scan process is complete, you can view the results by clicking View Results. The scan results are displayed within ScanView. ScanView consists of three distinct panes. The top pane identifies the machines that were scanned. The patch status of each machine is displayed in the middle pane. Let's expand the patch missing list to see the list of missing patches. Because three machines are currently selected in the top pane, the middle pane is showing collective status information for all three of the machines. To view the status information for just one of the machines, you simply select that single machine in the top pane. For example, the middle pane now shows the status for just the selected machine. Let's select all three machines again and view the missing patches for all of the machines. One of the listed patches is missing on two machines. To see which two machines are missing this particular patch, you simply select the patch and then use the Affected Machines tab in the bottom pane. Next, let me show you how easy it is to deploy a patch. You simply select the patch you want to deploy and then use the right-click menu. When you initiate a patch deployment, the Deployment Configuration dialog is displayed. This dialog enables you to specify how and when the patch will be deployed. For this tutorial, I'll elect to install the patch immediately. The Operations Monitor shows the status of the steps in the deployment process. At this point, from the console's point of view, the deployment is complete. The patch has been copied to the target machine and is ready for execution. You can use the deployment tracker to monitor the status of the actual installation on the target machine. And if you want to review the rules used before, during, and after the deployment, you can do so by clicking View Summary. For more information about Shavlik Protect, go to the web URLs shown here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a large number of Shavlik Protect user guides. Thanks for watching.